Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. It's Mr. Lazit back again. As I promised in my previous video, today I'll be showing you how to root your OnePlus S5 13R step by step. In this guide, I will also show you how to fix camera issues, battery problems, and update errors. And all this without flashing the odm.img file. So let's get started. In my last video, you saw me how I downgraded my software. So I am currently on 840 update. So I have to enable developer options again. Tap on version number 7 time and developer options will be enabled. Inside developer options, you see that OEM unlocking is already enabled since I have unlocked the bootloader. Now simply turn on USB debugging. Next, open your browser and search for kernel SU. Click the first GitHub link. Head to the releases page, scroll down and click show all assets. Find the kernel su next apk file. Download it and install it on your phone. Make sure to allow installation from this source. Now let's move to the PC. Here download your same firmware version zip file and extract it. Once the extraction is complete, you'll see a file named payload.bin. Open the fastboot enhance tool, go to payload dumper, click browse and select the payload.bin file. Then go to partitions, select init boot, click allow incremental and click extract image. Choose a folder where you can easily find your extracted file. Once done, go to that folder, copy the initboot.img file and paste it into your phone's internal storage. Back on your phone, open kernel SU, click install, then navigate to your storage and pick the initboot.img file. Press next. After flashing, kernel SU will create a patched initboot.img file in your download folder. Now copy that patched img back to your PC. Open platform tools, type adb devices and on your phone tap always allow from this computer then press allow. Next, in your fastboot firmware flasher, click reboot to bootloader. Your device will enter bootloader mode. In platform tools, type fastboot devices to confirm your device is detected. Then type 
fast boot flash iron it boot now drag and drop the patched iron it boot dot img file into your command and press enter once flash is complete type fast boot reboot your device will restart And congratulations, it's now rooted successfully. Open kernel SU and you'll see it says working. That confirms root access is active. Next, I'll install the new backup app from GitHub. I'll grant it root access and create a backup folder to restore my applications from the previous version. I'll copy my backup zip file to the phone, extract it and move all the files into the new backup folder I just created. Then in the restore menu, all my apps along with obb and data files are visible. I'll simply press restore and as you can see in the notification panel, my apps and data are being restored. This process may take a little time, so be patient. When it's finished, all apps are back, including games like PUBG Mobile with full data. Now let's do a magic trick and organize all my applications just like my previous version. What? What the f Just kidding guys, I simply used local backup and restored my preference settings from my previous version. Now let's move to fixing camera, battery and update issues without odm.img. Inside kernel su, go to modules, install and select the S5 module. This module is created by Devon with continued development by SERVIP. Their telegram support link is also provided. Reboot your device and in our device you'll see it now shows oneplus s5 with updated battery capacity and ota updates working again important after downloading an update do not reboot immediately instead open kernel su tap the icon Choose install to inactive slot after OTA. Press OK and wait until flashing is finished. Only then reboot. Otherwise, 
you will lose your root access and that's it for today's guide i also provide paid remote online services so feel free to contact me directly on whatsapp if you need help if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one